The first part I want to start with is reviewing online sources for objects. Now, if you're not familiar with uh, BIMComponents.com, uh, you should uh, look into this. This is a native ARCHICAD um, object format uh, website. It's developed for or developed by Graphsoft specifically. And is used by a number of different uh, uh, users to download very specific ARCHICAD objects, uh, or I should say objects that are in the Ar ARCHICAD format, because it's only object ARCHICAD format objects that are, um, uh, that, that are in this site. So it's a great website. If you have not used it, I would recommend it. Uh, also is bimobject.com. Um, BIMobject is a great, a very good resource actually for manufacturer specific objects. Uh, it, it is was developed originally by several people who left Graphsoft to go develop uh, bimobject.com. Uh, so it was developed originally focused on ARCHICAD uh, objects. It has recently also been um, uh, diversifying itself to Revit format as well. They acquired um, the uh, a library from uh, Autodesk uh, last year, the year before, that gave them a, a, a huge amount of, of Revit format objects into the, this library as well. So it's, it's a combination now of ARCHICAD and Revit formats. So when you go to select an object within that, of course, you'll get ARCHICAD, Revit, SketchUp, and potentially other formats as well that you can download and then bring into ARCHICAD, depending upon, um, you know, again, if, you're, if, you're, if it's a Revit format, if you download the Revit add-on from BIM6x.com, you can import those RFA objects into ARCHICAD as well. So you really have access to pretty much the entire library here, uh, even if they are an RFA object. And because these are focused on manufacturers, that means you're getting manufacturer-specific types of objects. Now, another popular um, resource is 3D Warehouse. I'm sure many of you have used this, uh, particularly those of you who have come from uh, SketchUp. Uh, this is a very popular uh, website. Uh, it has expanded in terms of its usefulness beyond just SketchUp users now. Uh, and that is because of the Collada format, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, and it's, you know, it's also a free, uh, they're also free 3D models. So there's no pay to access these models. One of the things they did do recently, as I mentioned, is they added the Collada format. The Collada format is, um, it's a DAE is the actual um, uh, suff uh, suffix for that. And it is an open exchange format. So what this has done is it's opened up the ability now for us to, to use the, um, uh, model the, the SketchUp, excuse me, the 3D Warehouse is either DAE or SketchUp, depending upon which is better on um, the way that you're importing. And I'll talk about that in a minute. The other things that's nice about this is, of course, it has a wide range of objects from lots of different cars. Tesla is a good example here. To, uh, you know, many uh, types of different objects, many of which have been created by users. So some of which are very detailed and have great, um, you know, great amounts of, of of usefulness for us and others maybe not so much and then others are and they also have expanded into um, uh, different manufacturers so that's also available within uh, this website as well Kohler and a bunch of others uh, you can access objects specifically developed by the companies uh, so that's also available but of course you really need to kind of pay attention to the objects you download because uh, some of the ones you get from any resource where you have users developing them, some users are very attentive to detail and others are not. So, you know, you really have to kind of look at uh, the objects you're downloading, whether or not they're useful for you, and to what level of detail um, they've been developed by the, uh, uh, the original authors of those objects. Another really good resource is Design Connected. If you've not used this before, uh, Design Connected is a fabulous um, uh, resource for high quality objects. It's at designconnected.com and they've got over 670 manufacturers, over 1,140 designers. I mean, it's a very rich, uh, very powerful um, uh, format or um, resource. You do pay by the object. There are also free objects. So depending upon you know which you're looking for, you can get a lot of free objects on here. 
And then there are objects that will cost you money as well. But these are really high quality objects. So when you download these, one of the nice things about them, and you'll get a lot of great um, uh, quotes on here from people who've used it, is that these are professionally done. So you're not getting objects that are developed by users uh, that, you know, they haven't gone in and actually looked at the, you know, uh, the detail. And there's, you know, there's a lot of really nice things about these objects. So when you download these objects, you can be rest assured they're going to be high quality. Uh, they will have gone through a lot of Q, um, uh, a quality check to make sure that they work well. And, um, and yeah, that you're getting your money's worth when you're paying for them. Another really popular website is TurboSquid. Uh, this is actually probably the largest website. I mean, it's got over 720, uh, 727,000 objects, um, and it's very popular for architects and designers. Gizler uses it as well. Uh, again, there's a lot of free objects on here that you can download and, and many high quality free objects. Um, so it's a great place to start to be able to access these. Um, many of these objects are in as you can kind of see here, uh, Max, OBJ files, uh, 3DS, a variety of formats here, SKP. There are different collections that you can download as well. Of course, uh, some of these are for pay. Some of these can get quite expensive. I mean, you can pay $44 for a washing machine uh, or $54 for a, um, you know, for something like this or a $59 for just for a cappuccino maker, which uh, you know, it's kind of crazy, but, um, you know, it really depends on what you're using it for and to what level of detail you need these objects. So for many cases, a lot of free objects on here are actually really quite good. So it's just a matter of, you know, going through here and seeing which ones are going to be best for you and uh, what you need in terms of that detail. It's similar to 3D Warehouse, you know, the objects depends upon um, the author. Uh, one of the nice things about TurboSquid, though, is that you can actually go through and you there actually have toggles on there to uh, you know um, to, to be able to say you know if I want high level of quality it will show only the high level quality objects and it will drop out the objects that have lower quality and there's ratings on there that they can rate the objects so it's a really good system for being able to uh, much more easily identify the high quality objects versus the low quality objects when you're searching. And the 3D Sky is a, another really good resource. This is based on a subscription service. So, uh, you know, they have over 90,000 free objects on there. Uh, they also have uh, parts, the ones that are part of their subscription service. Uh, you, they are developed by artists and designers. They have a little more high quality um, um, uh, review of these objects than does uh, 3D Warehouse. But... And, and, and you'll find really high quality objects on here. You'll see any ones that have pro means as part of that subscription service. And then you also have the free objects as well uh, that are really nice objects that are, that are part of this service. So it really just depends on what you're looking for. Each of these different options I'm showing you have their pluses and minuses, but there are some really great resources out there beyond the sort of uh, BIMcomponents.com that is just a standard part of ARCHICAD. Uh, that you can access and that bring an Arctic 